Hi friends, this is Dr. Diane from the Shenandoah Valley Discovery Museum. Thank you for joining me for Science Storytime. Today we're going to be exploring force and motion as we read Sheep in a Jeep by Nancy Shaw, illustrated by Margot Apples. Are you ready to put on your scientific thinking caps? Let's dive in. Sheep in a Jeep by Nancy Shaw, illustrated by Margot Apple. As we read, I want you to look for examples of forces at work. Are we pushing, are we pulling, and what's the result? Here we go. Sheep in a Jeep. Sheep in a Jeep. Beep, beep. Sheep in a Jeep on a hill that's steep. So what's gonna cause the Jeep to go down the hill? That's right, gravity. Uh-oh, the Jeep won't go. Anybody have an idea why the Jeep won't go? What could be wrong? Those are all great ideas. Let's find out. Sheep leap to push the Jeep. I want everybody to show me a big push. So when you push, what do you think is going to happen next? All right, we should move forward, right? If you're gonna push, then you expect that there's gonna be a resulting motion. Sheep shove, sheep grunt. Sheep don't think to look up front. So I want everybody to show me a shove. Everybody give a big shove. What's shove another name for? That's right, it's another name for a push. And we would expect if we're shoving the Jeep from the back that it's going to move forward. Let's see what happens. Jeep goes splash, Jeep goes thud, Jeep goes deep in gooey mud. So the Jeep did roll down the hill, the shove moved the Jeep and the gravity of the hill sent the Jeep down. But then what happened? The Jeep stopped because it landed in the mud. Sheep tug, I want everybody to try a tug. A tug is another word for a pull. You've got it. So if we're tugging, we expect the Jeep to come towards us, right? So give a big tug, see if the Jeep will come. Nothing. Sheep tug, sheep shrug. Sheep yelp, can everybody yelp like a sheep? Bah, bah, bah. Sheep, get help. Who's giving the sheep help? That's right. I bet they're gonna get help from the pigs. Jeep comes out, sheep shout. So what did the pigs do to move the Jeep? They gave it a, you're right. They're giving it a push or a shove and they're pushing the Jeep out of the mud. So they're pushing it away from them and towards the sheep. Sheep cheer. Oh dear, the driver sheep forgets to steer. What do you think is gonna happen? Doesn't look good, does it? Jeep in a heap, sheep weep. So what force stopped the Jeep? That's right, it crashed into the tree. Sheep sweep the heap. Jeep for sale, cheap. So we saw lots of different examples of motion words and of different forces that were applied. We saw forces like pushing and shoving and pulling and tugging. And each of those forces resulted in a motion for the Jeep. I want you to try it at home. See if you can build yourself a hill and practice ways to get your Jeep or your car up and down that hill. Thanks for joining me for Science Storytime.